Good morning, good morning. So I was thinking about something today or, or this morning. It's, uh, it's about 2.55 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. And the word says, don't forsake the days of small beginnings. And what that means is, or what I believe it means, don't be jealous, don't be envious, don't think, why don't I have what that person has? Why am I not further along? Me and this individual are the same age. Yet it seems like they have it figured out. Do not forsake the days of small beginnings. Do not. Do not take for granted. The position and the place that you're at in life. And I got to tell you something. The hardest thing for me. But the most rewarding thing for me is when I've given it my all and it still seems I haven't made one inch further than before I started. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is that the most rewarding thing? Because if I still, see, anybody can give it all they got one day. Anybody can give it all they got a couple days. I've been on this journey for a couple years. With no plans on stopping in sight. None. Besides God, there's nothing else motivating me. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Not accolades from men. Not my kids. Not my wife. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Besides God and his promise. That is it. Because if it was me relying on man to pat me on the back and tell me I did good, I would have quit a long time ago when I made my first 600 YouTube videos and only got one view. Or what about my first, first thousand? But God says keep going. Or what about the thousands of things I've posted on social media and got a fraction of the likes that most people get. But God said, keep going. Don't forsake the days of small begin. See, because what's going on in those days of small beginnings when you're barely making nothing but yet you're giving it your all as if you're making it all, there's something building inside of you. There's a resilience, there's a there's a resistance, there's a there's a uh, 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 an urgency. The word also says, do not grow weary for in due season. See, even when you're in your days of small beginnings, you're only in a season. But 
But you might say, well, how do I know when I'm out of that season? How do I know when I'm making progress? It looks like everything is still the same. I'll tell you the funniest thing, and I've, 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 I've loved sharing this over the last couple weeks with people. When I first started exercising, for the first year or two, I seen zero different. I mean, think a little bit here and there. And I was, dra- I was dramatically um, doing things to help the process. I wanted to receive or I wanted to achieve results faster. So I was willing to put in the work that was necessary, cut out the sugar, cut out the carbs. Uh, you know, I was willing to do those things. And I see no change. First year. Then second year. And then, behold, my third year, everything starts to shift. And I'm looking in the mirror and I'm seeing the results of what I've done for the previous two years. I go into the gym and I find myself stronger than ever. It's not an issue of getting up and going. And yeah, every day is not the same in terms of my in terms of if I want to go and am I going to have my best workout but I show up so when the word says don't forsake the day of small beginnings in my small beginnings in my two 60 to 70 beginnings had I quit I would have never seen the results that I feel and I see now and now I'm pushing through on the business side and now I'm pushing through on the personal side I'm pushing through on my trying to have a marriage, you know. It's hard having a marriage when neither one of the participants involved in it really had had the right role model to know how to treat the opposite. You know, I, I didn't have that woman around that allowed me to say, okay, oh, okay, I get it. Oh, that's what I do. My wife didn't have that man around that was like, oh, oh, I get it. Oh, that, oh, okay. You know, those tools that we need. But we press, we press forward. We don't forsake the days of small beginnings. And if you always remember that if you do not forsake the moment and the times that you're in right now, just like my workouts, just like my body, just like my 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 perseverance, my persistence, it becomes fuel. It becomes rocket fuel. But you have to wanna one is you have to know the word. What it says. What it's instructing you to do. I was at uh, church on Wednesday night. Me and my family, all of us, all, literally all of us. That's I, and it's not like I make them go. Well, sometimes. Well, not really, but <laughs> but we were all there. And uh, the word for that day was, uh, "The first shall be last, and the last shall be first." 
And what was so surprising was, you know, she talked about how it can become discouraging when you look around and you see or what appears to be everybody's doing better than you. I mean, not just everybody, but even the people you know don't love God the way you do are prosper. It says for God, nothing is impossible. And at the snap of his fingers, those roles could easily reverse. Don't forsake the day of small beginnings. At all. And just keep pressing forward.